vitamin C for cancer prevention and immune support. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, vitamin C has many functions in the body. One of them is that it's important for making joint cartilage and also collagen formation throughout the body. And collagen really is sort of the cement substance that supports many of the tissues of the body so they don't collapse and, and uh, lead to deformities. And in that mode, vitamin C is required for wound healing. But vitamin C is also important for the brain. It helps the brain make certain chemicals or neurotransmitters like norepinephrine and dopamine required for, to be alert, to be able to think and process information, and for well-being. Vitamin C also enhances the absorption of the mineral iron. It's also a very important antioxidant. That means that it blocks free radical damage to certain tissues. Free radicals can cause genetic mutations that can lead to cancer. Vitamin C has also been shown to support immune system function. So when we look at supplementation studies where people have taken higher doses of vitamin C, we see some remarkable things. There's a, a significant number of studies that show that higher vitamin C intake is linked with a reduction in risk of cancer. We think it's because of the antioxidant function, but also vitamin C supports immune system function. Also in the intestinal tract, it blocks the, the formation of certain cancer-causing chemicals called uh, nitrosamines. And higher doses have been shown to support immune system function, uh, bringing compromised immune systems back to uh, a normal, healthier functioning level, and, to de and decreasing in some studies the severity and duration of the common cold. In patients that have been exposed to toxic chemicals, giving them high doses of vitamin C, it's been shown to bring their immune system back. Their natural killer cell function comes back. Their lymphocytes come back and function better. In patients with asthma, it has an antihistamine effect, which has been shown to be helpful. It also prevents some lung damage from nitrogen oxide, a common dangerous element in air pollution and in cigarette smoke as well. It's been used in cancer treatment. A, couple, number, a number of studies have used high doses of vitamin C as part of the adjunct of nutritional management of cancer. It plays a number of roles in, in, in that capacity that I believe are, are really important. And then with respect to uh, cataracts, it's been shown to decrease the progression of cataracts and to even prevent their onset to a certain degree. And then in diabetics, it's been shown to have many positive effects on helping to improve glucose control, but also helping to decrease the likelihood cataracts will form uh, in the lens of the eye. In men that have some uh, fertility problems, it's been shown to improve sperm motility and sperm counts and to improve the, the quality of the sperm and decrease that DNA damage that can occur to sperm from cigarette smoke and other toxic chemicals. It's been shown to help reduce the likelihood of bed sores in people who are bedridden and to enhance the healing of bed sores. So vitamin C plays many important functions in the body and sometimes supplementation is a good thing but you have to know how much to supplement based on your own situation. So I would suggest you click on the link and, and read the article that I have, this review article on vitamin C. It'll shed some light on how you can ensure you're getting the right vitamin C for your own needs and how to supplement vitamin C, uh, how much vitamin C you should supplement to help manage specific health conditions. You'll also see that there's some people that shouldn't take vitamin C and certain drugs interact with vitamin C. These are all important considerations. Now at MachinoHealth.com, you'll see my other research review papers. You'll see footage from my live professional seminars. You'll see resources and downloads I've created. They're all there for free to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All my research review papers and teaching materials are complete with all the scientific references. So you'll see you're getting evidence-based information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So you should make MachinoHealth.com an ongoing, reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.